During a guest appearance on Goldhawk Fights Back, lawyer Mark Silverthorne talks about stopping collection calls from financial institutions, banks, credit card companies, and finance companies. Now, let's continue with Goldhawk Fights Back with Dale Goldhawk on AM740. Mark Silverthorne is here, and we're talking about the wonderful world of uh, bill collectors and what to do if uh, you get a call or they're bugging you morning, noon, and night. They're driving you nuts. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that I can tell you, Dale, and this is really interesting, is on January the 1st of 2010, the federal government enacted new regulations that applied to financial institutions. And what it means is if I can send out a cease and desist letter on behalf of anyone who's receiving collection calls from a bank, and mm -hmm. it, does, it doesn't have to go to a collection agency, it, you, could, you could have a visa and it could be 30 days in default. And under these new regulations, so if there's anybody out there who's getting collection calls from a financial institution for tomorrow only, for I guess what tomorrow is, Wednesday, January... Wednesday, the, January the 11th. Wednesday, January the 11th, if you call my office between 9 and 5 <laughs> p.m., for the first 500 people, you'll get a free cease and desist letter as long as you mention Dale Goldhawk. If you are receiving collection calls in connection with monies owing to any financial institution whose name appears on this chart, then lawyer Mark Silverthorne is in a position to send a cease and desist letter on your behalf to those making these collection calls in order to stop these collection calls. For more information about stopping those annoying collection calls, visit www.helpwithcollectioncalls.ca. 